it's hard to explain the feeling, and all of you have had it, mm -hmm. that you can't explain it to someone who's never had a kid right. or has children That's yet. That's right. And I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what's it like being a dad? And what was that feeling? And it's, it's kind of hard to explain. With Haley, Haley being my first, and I did this with all my kids, the first thing I did was just cried. I mean, I, as soon as I saw her, yeah. Yeah. I could not stop crying. I really looked forward to it, but I was overwhelmed. Yeah, overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. overwhelmed. Bob, how about you? I, I think the terminology that, that really, literally just flooded my heart was joy. And it was, it was more than just an average joy or the definition that you might think of as far as joy. Mine went uh, much, much deeper. And, and in my readings, the only thing that I can compare that to is David in Psalms. And he talks about a greater joy. Yeah. You know, I remember, first of all, I have such an amazing wife. And I don't know what I did to get blessed with such an amazing wife, but Amen she is just that. my complete opposite. Um, somebody was praying over me. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you that every one of my kids, I have planted in their soul to, add, you know, to teach them because nobody taught me this growing up. And that is to love God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. And what is the second most important thing in the world? And that's to love everybody else the same as yourself. And my four-year-old son, which doesn't speak the greatest, he can tell you that. Yeah. He knows that. And, right. Right. and every night when we get ready to go to bed, my kids have to come get me to pray. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I think, you know, in, 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 in the world and culture we live in today that says amass and build and be successful right. and, and right. become rich or become famous, that's true riches. Yeah. Um, you know, what, what would you say is probably the, the biggest challenge that you faced in raising kids in today's culture? That would be the cell phone. That's easy. Getting them off the Social internet. Media. Just they, everywhere they go, they got that nose in that phone. <laughs> Even my five-year-old's the same way. And you're like, mm -hmm. there's more to life than just staring at that watching YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, get outside, enjoy it. And it's funny because they will fight with you at first to get them outside, but you get them outside, you get them into doing something, they totally forget about that cell phone and they're having a good old time getting them outside. But you sure. gotta get them there first. Well, that, that is challenging. My son asked me, you know, when am I gonna get a cell phone? And I said, when you can pay the bill. There you go. <laughs> you <know? laughs> That's what my mom told me. I think one of my biggest challenges with my kids is, um, is really myself. You know, when you think about when you were a kid, when you were growing up, when you seen somebody the way they acted or certain situations, it just blew your mind. And it was right. the end of the world, right. you know, but when you get more advanced and more older and more wiser, you know, your, your everyday life is challenges and problems. And right. it's like, oh, I'm just gonna face this, I'm gonna face that. You know, the challenge for me is, I want to make sure that I'm being, you know, Certainly the best example, example yeah. because sometimes I have to stop and put myself in their <laughs> shoes and think, man, if I was six years old or four years old and seven, you know, and I just saw some act like that, how would that make me feel? So right. those are some of the challenges that I face. So what, what's one piece of advice that you wish you would have received before you had children? If you would have actually listened to it, <laughs> what would that be? Bob, how about you? Well, we, we registered something in our household that says, remember who you are and what you are. Who you are is a right. That's our last name. Mm -hmm. That should stand for a standard at some point in time sure, if I've done my yeah. job correct. Right. What you are is a child of God. So if you fail over here and get yourself in trouble, you remember what you are, which is a child of God, and you belong to Him, and that is a temple in which He gave you. Mine was patience. Patience. <laughs> it's one of those, and my 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 dad didn't have a lot of those. <laughs> no, my dad didn't either, and so I inherently didn't. And it's funny, and, and not just necessarily with my first, but when you have your first, and then I want to compare my second to my first. And it's like you know what? Because Willie is laid back, extremely smart. He catches things quick. Right. Elijah, the next one. He's a little, he's a lot more active. Right. He doesn't catch on as quick. And I was like, you gotta be patient. Just because one can do it doesn't mean the other sure, one can do right. it. Sure, that's right. And growing up, I, I love math and science. Well, not all my kids are real good with that. And it's one of those, I gotta be patient. I, they have to take some time, like I said, piggyback right. over to learn that. Right. And I, when it comes, I'm like, why can't you understand what I'm telling you? You know, you, right. you get a little frustrated and then I step back and it's like, you know, they haven't had the experience or the opportunities to learn what I have. I have to be patient. 
give them the time to learn it. If they ask you questions, you encourage them to ask you, hey dad, how do I do this? From yeah, the I'm, onset. I'm always having, just, I'm the same thing. I always have to remember they're six yeah. and I'm 33. <laughs> yeah. And when I was six, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have understood exactly. this. Exactly. Good piece of advice that I wish that I would gotten um, before we had kids is um, probably the strength in my marriage um, and my walk with my wife and our relationship because you know, when that baby comes, it's flipped completely upside down. There's no more you two, and there, you know, it, there's another one there, and it takes up all of your time. Um, and as they get older, you know, they see you guys, they see the examples you become, and that's something sure. that we, you know, we struggle with. That I wish that somebody would have said, "Hey, you know, these are little kids. They're going to look up to you. They're going to grow up." My wife tells me all the time, you, "You know, your daughter's going to." marry somebody just like you, you know, <laughs> how do you feel about that? Yeah. So, I was like, oh no, yeah. oh no, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm doomed. Um, Grace, you know, Lord. Yeah, yeah, please. That's right, that's yeah. right. And, and honestly, you know, that's just one of the biggest challenges is, sure. you know, is marriage, because it does change. You know, there's a lot of time that you're not going to have anymore that you have to invest in your kids, yeah. and, and you need to have a strong relationship with your wife. And, you know, that's something that I've lacked in, and that I wish somebody could have prepared me for. Amen to that. They, they understand quick too. You they go, yeah. oh, he understand. Oh, they understand. No, they know. Yeah. yeah. They feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish they would have told me, of course, patience and I mean these are these are I needed to hear those too. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all good reminders yeah. for all Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's all like, oh that's right. I wish I would have known that. <laughs> um, is I guess you know, off off a different rail or track here, I would say uh, that there's just different levels of parenting Parenting also that you go through. And uh, you know, the infant stage is nothing like the uh, toddler stage, and the toddler stage right. isn't the preteen stage, and then the teenager stage, guess what, she's dating. Yeah. Guess what, you're watching her drive off in her car by herself. And yeah, these are true. That can't happen. These are true experiences. No, it's never going to happen. They're, they're, they're wrong. Come. Guess what? She's getting married. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Right. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to stay this big yeah, forever. Exactly. Yeah. That's what yeah. I They're going to have about. that beautiful smile and always yeah. love you. Yeah. yeah. You know, the pictures <laughs> only. Yeah. Dad, one piece of advice my dad did give me was, you know, bring them up the best you can bring them up. I, I mean, you and your wife are going to give birth to a human and love them, yeah. Yeah. love them as much as you can yeah. love them. Right. Yeah. Right. And of course, that's what we did.